Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about must-have upgrades if you own or are thinking about buying a Coleman 17B or a 17R. Stay tuned. Guys, all these upgrades are going to make your camping experience so much more enjoyable for you. We all know that these are a entry-level, low-priced camper. I'm not saying we don't love ours. We absolutely do. We have a video up here. We'll show you that on all the things we love about it. But that being said, they do come with some lower-end options, stripped down, that sort of thing. Let me show you what we've done to make ours better. We'll jump right into it and show you number one. All right, guys, so the first thing we did was add these front stabilizers. These Coleman's and uh, the 17B's and 17R's only come with rear stabilizers and obviously the front tongue jack. Uh, it only took one night of us camping to realize that there obviously has to be something up on the front. What I like about these is they crank down so much quicker than the rear ones. It cost us a total of $112, I think, to have these mounted on here. Very simple process. There was holes in the frames. We threw three bolts in there. Hold them on there so what a world of upgrade this has been definitely stops the camper from rocking and rolling and juping all over the place while you're in there so definitely something that probably should be done you guys are going to notice a world of difference with these front stabilizers installed all right guys another thing we did was throw on this front power jack uh what a world of difference this thing makes as well so much easier to pull into a campground hold that button raise it up where you need to lower it down where you need to when you're hooking up packing up ready to leave so much easier to get everything attached these are pretty self-explanatory i mean it was as simple as remove these three bolts pop the old jack out throw the new one on i think this one was 119 dollars so definitely you know not too expensive but worth the upgrade for sure all right guys my favorite upgrade and again it only took one night for us to figure this out was upgrading the mattress again these cheaper campers come with a paper thin mattress i think it's similar to the ones that are on the bunkhouse in the back there this was actually something we had done right after we used it for the first weekend uh, this is a memory foam i think we paid 300 bucks for it uh, camper size obviously on amazon nice thick mattress definitely worth the upgrade wendy and i are in this thing almost every weekend shooting videos and taking it out places and there's no way i could continue to sleep on that little teddy bear thin i mean literally thin mattress that comes with these things it's great because you can still access storage underneath here without any problems like i said really really comfortable definitely worth the upgrade a little under 300 dollars on amazon i believe we paid for it but something you guys should think about doing all right guys another upgrade we've done on the inside and bear with me i know it's dark in here i don't have a battery hooked up are these curtains for the bunkhouse these are great for a couple reasons again you got a cheaper camper so there's not going to be anything that comes with them from the factory as far as privacy wise but for this cheap application you can get a nice little area for the kids or if you got guests or something like that to come over they can have their own little private area this camper is not huge inside it certainly works for us for what we need but it's nice for them to have their own little space. If you didn't want to do anything permanent, we used command strips underneath these short little screws here. I didn't want holes up in the roof. We actually made a short on how we made these. You guys could check that out if you wanted to, but they've been up for a couple years. They travel down the road great. They haven't fallen down. You can open them all the way up if you want this a little bit wider, but just a really good idea to give everybody in the bunkhouse, if they're using it, a little bit of extra privacy, a little space of their own. Works out great for us. Definitely something I'd recommend. All right, guys, another simple upgrade we did, since these don't come with any outside light, any of the Lantern models, is we put the underlighting on underneath the camper. This serves a bunch of purposes. Number one, it lights up the campground at night. A lot easier to see getting in and out of the camper. You don't have to struggle where the steps are, things like that. There's a bunch of different functions on them. You can have them flash, play music, dance around. You can keep them solid if you wanted to. So certainly something that's kind of cool. It's going to be hard to see. I'll show you guys where we have them mounted. Again, it's daylight out here. You're not going to be able to see, but I will post a video up here so you get an idea of what they look like at night. Again, we just mounted them to the frame here. There's one here, one there, and they kind of go all the way down. Uh, we picked them up at Walmart. They're like actually made for like an off-road vehicle or something like that. I didn't want something underneath here permanently that was going to get road spray on it from traveling in the rain, mud, or grime, or any of that stuff. So these actually have a lifetime warranty. 
They were $49 at Walmart. They definitely make a big difference as far as lighting up the campground, like I said, at night, being able to see where you're at. The kids can find your camper as they're coming around the loop. They know exactly where you guys are because not a lot of people have them. Again, we'll post a video up here for you guys to check them out. If you're new to the channel, take a minute to like and subscribe. There's a lot of things you guys are going to like here on the camping loop, and we will see you guys next week.